For the 17th year, Community Partners, Inc. is pleased to be hosting its annual Community Mental Health Arts Show. To tell us what we can expect this year is Tom Baca and Kendra Kilgore. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. Tom, let's actually start out and just kind of learn about the show itself. Well, the art show, as you said, yeah. is in its 17th year, started by a community partnership of Southern Arizona, or CPSA. Uh, that first show happened in 2000, and we've been going every year since. And it's an opportunity for members receiving mental health services in our community, as well as service providers, to come in and enter artwork into this show. So it's just a, a really great opportunity uh, for folks to express themselves and provide the, that avenue for them working through their recovery. I think this is a, a great opportunity. We do say a lot of like mm -hmm. art is great therapy, uh, but why is this show so important? You know, it's important in so many ways. I think it's important to the artist. I think it's important to our community. You know, as Tom said, it started back, it was, it was a thought in 1999. We kicked it off in 2000, and it gives that platform for people living with mental illness and substance abuse, the opportunity to be an artist, mm -hmm. to be something other than someone with mental health issues or somebody with substance abuse. It also gives us the opportunity to showcase beautiful artwork and for the community to come together and support people. Um, it helps us reduce the stigma of mental illness in our community, which is always, always a positive thing. What a unique way to do that mm -hmm. also. And Tom, I know you hit just briefly on who is going to be a part of this art, art show, but who really is eligible if somebody wants mm -hmm. to uh, still, of course, uh, submit a piece? Well, like I said, it's going to be folks that are receiving services okay. in our Tucson area, as well as the provider of services. So that's the eligibility criteria, but really, you know, that the fact that these are, they're just artists, they're people like us, everyday people, um, and, and people are going to experience that in their artwork. They're going to come in, they're going to see somebody that's able to express themselves in a way that may, they may or may not be able to express themselves in other ways. And so being able to put artwork down on canvas or, you know, other ways to express themselves through art that may not necessarily be tied into our art show, for example, poetry or music, those are some of the other ways that people are able to have that outlet for themselves. Mm -hmm. And the art show, we're, we're really excited to be able to provide that venue for that. And I know we were looking at some of those pieces, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I know the viewing for this art is going to kick off on the 26th of October, but is there still time Correct. to be a part of this? Absolutely. Okay. If anyone is interested, and again, we accept artwork all ages, all ages, which is great. But uh, all they have to do, it's very easy, just visit our website at communitypartnersinc.org, download the entry form, and then show up with your artwork next Wednesday. We begin taking artwork on October 19th at 9 a.m., and we'll continue doing so through Thursday, October 20th at 4 p.m. So we really hope people are able to, to come to the Plaza Arboleda, which is located at 2502, drop off their artwork. Tom and I will be there accepting artwork, and then we're going to have a fabulous show. And I know there's even some prizes that are going to be awarded. That's right. We're going to have four different prizes awarded, as well as recognizing the top three places within each of the categories. So uh, the categories are drawing, uh, paintings, mixed media, photography, crafts. So uh, recognizing the top three finishers in those categories, as I said. And then the top prizes being the best of show, obviously. But we want to get the community involved. Of course, we want the, the general public to come out and enjoy the show October yes. 26th through 28th and take part in the People's Choice voting. So those are the two bigger prizes. One of the other prizes, as you see here in our poster, is the uh, poster art award winner and the winner of that award will be featured on our next year's poster as well to promote the event. Mm -hmm. So this poster recognizes the artist goes by Luminosa and her piece is titled Horse of Color oh. and uh, it's just a stunning you know vibrant image and I think it really reflects kind of that spirit that people are able to again you know put down on yes. canvas. 
Beautiful. And I'm going to remind everybody where this is all taking place and how they can get some more information. But I want to thank you both so much for coming. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, you guys, the 17th Annual Community Mental Health Art Show is being held at the Plaza Ar Arboleto Conference Center at 2502 North Dodge from October 26th through the 28th, starting at 11 a.m. For more information, call 325-4268 or visit communitypartnersinc.org slash arts dash show.